ain't no stopping us. Hey guys, what's up? Jeff here once more to orient your fitness in the right direction. And today in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about what scapular dyskinesis is, why it's important, I'm going to be explaining to you what scapular humeral rhythm is, and I'm going to be giving you a great stretch that you can be doing. So essentially what scapular dyskinesis is, is it's your shoulder blade back here moving improperly. And it can, this can have major implications if your shoulder blade's not moving properly. Because as I said in my last video, you have a space right here in between your upper arm bone or humerus and your, the edge of your shoulder blade, which is called the acromion. And the space right here is your subacromial space. And in that space, you have structures like your subacromial bursa, your long head of the biceps tendon, and your supraspinatus tendon. And your supraspinatus, as I said, is one of your four rotator cuff muscles. So, if you're not getting proper movement at your shoulder, these structures can get jammed. And if they get jammed enough as you're raising your arm up, then you can get things like rotator cuff tendonitis and even a rotator cuff tear, which you don't want to experience. So here's what scapulohumeral rhythm is. What it is, is normally when you bring your arm up over your head, for about the thir first 30 degrees or so of doing this, the motion is solely occurring at your glenohumeral joint right here. But as your arm comes past 30 degrees up as you bring it up over your head, you start to get motion occurring at your shoulder blade right here. So essentially for every two degrees of motion past 30 degrees that you're raising your arm up over your head, one degree of motion is coming at your shoulder blade and it should be upwardly rotating as you're lifting your arm up. So as you bring your arm up, your shoulder blade should be coming up like this. And it should also be tilting backwards like that as you raise your arm up. And that's critical because if it's not doing that, the structures in here can become jammed if your shoulder blade is not moving correctly like it's not tilting backwards enough, or it's not upwardly rotating enough, then these structures can begin to get jammed in there. And that can lead to a lot of problems. Like, you can imagine in the gym, if you're trying to do overhead activities, and your shoulder blade's not moving correctly, that can cause a lot of issues in your body. Or simply doing everyday activities where you're raising your arm up. It can cause a lot of problems if you get, have scapular dyskinesis occurring. So because we spend so much time in a sedentary lifestyle today where we sit a lot, our shoulders are rounded forward, one muscle that can cause a lot of issues in people is called your pec minor muscle. And your pec minor muscle, it, it comes from the coracoid process of your shoulder blade right here, and it attaches to your third, fourth, and fifth ribs. And when this muscle is tight, it can tilt your shoulder blade forward. So it can tilt your shoulder blade forward. And then that can cause issues because now your shoulder blade can't tilt back as much. And that muscle also downwardly rotates your shoulder blade. So if that muscle's tight and it's tilting your shoulder blade forward, now as you raise your arm up over your head, these structures can get jammed and that's going to cause issues. So I think it's a good idea to know how to stretch this muscle. So stretching this, the pec minor is quite easy. All you do is go into the corner of a room, put your arms, raise your arms up, and put them on each adjacent corner of the room. So arms up, one arm on each adjacent corner, and you're gonna raise your arms up higher than shoulder height. Because the pec minor, it also does downward rotation of the scapula, it does that. So the higher you raise your arm, the more you are upwardly rotating it. And you shouldn't have pain while doing this stretch. If you have pain, don't do it, obviously. So go into that corner, arm on each wall, arms higher than shoulder height, and then lean in and hold that stretch for a minute and try doing it two times. And that'll help to stretch out your pec minor muscle so you are not, so this muscle isn't tight and pulling you into, pull, not messing up the movement of your shoulder blade. And also you want to work out back muscles like your lower trapezius, your middle traps, your rhomboids, work out other muscles like your serratus anterior. Those can help your shoulder blade to move correctly and put you into better posture. All right, guys, this has been Jeff once more, orienting your fitness in the right direction. Hopefully you got something out of that video. If you liked it, I'd really appreciate it. If you've thumbed it up, commented on the video, and subscribed to my channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.